<laughs> Put a little chum in the water. All right, shake that chum up. We're about to catch some bait. I'm gonna keep shaking. Shake, 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 senora. Oh, there's a dead bird over there. Interesting. Oh, I can smell it. Yeehaw. Almost caught the pelican. <laughs> All right, we got bait. We got bait. Oh, yeah. Watch out, Snook. We're coming for you. Yeah, that's for sure. Come here, buddy. Got him. Here we go. Here you go. <laughs> Woo -wee. I see him darting around in that net. <laughs> That's a loaded net right there. Ooh wee, baby. Damn. All right, today we are fishing with Carson. And we also got Dan. This is a baitmeister, by the way. He's the yes. reason why we're going to be successful yeah. today. Yep, this is Dan, Carson's Dan boat. Know it, but I'm going to take him snook fishing, and then he's going to take me wahoo fishing. There. Ooh! Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. I'm going to steal all his spots. So all right. I'm down for that. No problem. So today we're doing some Florida Keys backcountry fishing. Try to get a snook. We just got a bunch of pilchards, live bait, and game on. Getting the urge to jump in. I do have an urge to jump in. Little, the uh, the water looks a yeah the water looks so nice. Remember the last time we went through and somebody jumped in? Yep, I do. Her <laughs> top blew off. <laughs> That's what happens when you jump off a moving boat. That's Tavernier Creek Bridge right there, behind us. And this way is the back country. This is actually Tavernier Creek, and we're going through the Tavernier Creek right here to the back country, where hopefully we'll find some snook, maybe some tarpon, hopefully some snapper, maybe even a big old jewfish. We are anchored up next to some mangroves. I'm gonna put 20 liter on mine. Uh, yeah, I think I got, I only got 15 liter. Oh wait, my, I got 12 pound liter. What's this that you have here? What pound liter is this? That's 20, that's a good one. This is and, 20? And, and it's a good 20. You wanna use it? No, go ahead. All right. Dan's already fishing. I got one rigged up for you if you don't. Oh, it's all good. I'm rigging up. I just put on that 20 pound leader. Now I just got to put a hook on here and I'm good to go. Carson's, ca oh. <laughs> you guys are making me nervous catching fish already. Oh, no, 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 not now. That's part oh, of the game. Dan caught a tree. If you ain't catching the mangroves, you're not fishing close enough to him. Look, look at this, he dropped down. Oh, that's the way to that's, get them, Dan. That's kite fishing. Oh, if you can get, if you can do that, you'll catch them. I'm throwing on a number two circle hook. From yours truly. Are you using a J hook or circle? Oh! Carson's got a nice snook on. Oh, he's a beautiful snook. Wow, oh, he is a pretty one. Oh, baby. Beautiful fish. I love these guys. Ooh Bye, buddy. Away he goes. First fish on the boat. I haven't even tied my hook on yet. What are you doing, Heiko? I'm. <laughs> I'm freaking taking my sweet dandy time over here. Okay. All right. Now I just need. A, I need a. I need a pilchard. Here you go. There's a pilchard for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, hooked him right through the nose. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Okay, so we're trying to throw the pilchards under the mangroves. Oh, baby. That went right under the mangroves. I'm surprised he didn't get whacked. I kind of want to put a J, J hook on. Got a thread fin herring. See how he's got the smaller. He's got that oh, little. yeah. Yeah, the little. 
I never clipped my tag end off my hook. They're in there, I should be getting a bite. Come on, eat the fool. Literally chucking them right under the mangroves. Stubborn little goobers. Oh, Dan's on. Oh. On and off. Yeah, he, he ate you way out there too, that's cool. I think it J-hooked. I'm gonna hook them in the in the anus this time. Hi ya! Shit! Nice technique. <laughs> I got my. <laughs> well, I chucked him right into the bushes. Japanese fishing. My hook came right back out though. Hi ya! He busted you off. Oh man! How did that be? Was it snook? 20. They got they got sandpaper for mouths. Yep. Chafed off. Dan just lost a nice snook. How do you feel? It wasn't a rockfish. That's all. I'm just saying. I'm still still working on the rockfish. <laughs> How do I feel? <laughs> Damn it! I'm just thankful there's no rocks here. <laughs> <laughs> but Dan, you love the rocks. No, I'm just I'm just saying. Something tells me you're gonna end up catching rock yeah. before the day's over. Oh, Carson's oh. on. Oh, oh. Oh, I caught a tree again. You guys are catching fish and I'm just catching. Yeah, there I go. Oh, tree? What's the tree? Is that the red mango or the white mango? <laughs> oh, I see. Um, I think it's a big fish. It's hard to tell. It's trees. Oh, man. How do you feel right now? How do I feel? How do I feel? Because they're getting sore from tying so many knots. Oh. Please tell me I still have the leader. It's fine. I already know that people would rather watch me struggle than actually catch fish. Oh, Dan's on. Dan's in the battle of his life. Get him, oh. You got him, you got him out, keep him out. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice one. Yeah, those mangroves. He's, he's going for the oh, mangroves. Man. Dan says he's mine. All right, stay right there, Dan. You are mine. Stay right where you're at. Spit, spit yeah. That's a beauty. That Woo. ain't no rock. That ain't no rock. <laughs> That's not a rock. <laughs> We're gonna cut that. Woo, that's a good one. Woo -hoo. Nice. Beautiful. That's a fat one. Oh dude. You're pretty big. Right, how big do you think he is? All right, how big is your boy? What's the guess? The guess is... 26 is my guess. 26 is your guess. You are right. 25, my friend. 25. Nice. 25 inches. 25 inch roos. 20. Sucking on Danny's finger. Thumb sucker. <laughs> he just likes hanging out with you at this point. Can't let you guys catch all the fish. You're doing a pretty good job. You catch all the trees and we'll catch the fish. Damn! Come on, eat me. Oh, yes. Oh, that was... Oh! There he is! Oh my god! What was was that a barracuda? I don't know. It looked kind of slicky. Yeah. Well, I got a hit. That makes me feel better. I'm in the game. Oh, Dan, you on? Man. Oh! Another. Dan's got another snook. Nice. Ooh, another snook. Dang! This is fun. Good work. I think I gotta buy another boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. And that's how it happens. $60,000 later, you're ready to snook fish. <laughs> See, Heiko, get the small one. I'm about to catch a 34 inch Kubera snapper. Watch this. Knowing you, you will. This is it for me. This is the one. Got a little tangle there, huh? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I could tie a knot this good. Yes! There he is, get him out, get him out! Oh, that's a big one, Heiko, you just gotta get him out. Oh, he's right here! No, he's going back, he's coming back! Good work, dude, you better tighten your drag down, dude. Yeah! <laughs> he's coming, he's coming! Oh, that's a good Oh, he dodged the net, he did not like the net. I'm working him! Nice, nice. Woo! Another fat one, nice. That's a good, good, nice. Oh, he's hooked perfectly too, right there in the... Yeah. Oh, shit. Nice. We'll be posting the waypoint in the description below. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not. Hold it, grab his belly, grab his belly. 
This is where I feel like a shark's gonna grab me. Yeah, be careful. Oh, Dan Zone! Oh, right off the release. Like a baby one. Woo! He's a jumper. He's an acrobat. <laughs> Perfect little lip hook too. There you go, look at that. Nice, nice. Cute little fish you got there. Hey Dan, what'd you catch over there? Nothing. <laughs> Why, why are you asking? Uh, I don't know. I see you shaking the rod and I see that bush over there wiggling a lot. Maybe. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> yeah! Get him! Oh, yeah! Nice snap. Oh no! You gotta tighten your drag down, bro. It, it, it's, it's pretty freaking tight. You're gonna make it snap. I don't care. You're either gonna lose him or you're gonna... <laughs> He's either gonna get you in the mangroves or... Oh, here he is. He, yeah! Yeah, 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 drop them, drop them in on in. Skirt! I need a chicken wing. That's when, while well, you guys fish, I'm eat chicken wing. I love Publix fried chicken. Their rotisserie chickens are good too. There's some beautiful water. Pretty, pretty water. I don't see them snook though. Where are you fishies? <laughs> I will find you. All right, live chumming. Here we go. Oh, it's raining. It's raining pilchards. I'm going to belly hook this one. All right. There's the sheep set down there. Oh, nice tree, Hydro. What? Yes. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Maybe my fish is in here somewhere. Yeah, you know? we just can't see it. <laughs> That's like the equivalent of a rock out here. Make daddy proud. You know what? I'm not making fun of you anymore. <laughs> what is that, Dan? You got a mangrove tree. <laughs> Hmm. I got like 50 mangroves looking at my pilchard. He must be dying from a heart. Oh, we got some decent mangrove snappers over here. Oh no! That yeah, that bird just tried to get my bait. Oh, Carson's got a beast on. Give me a You got him, you got him, you got him. Oh, you got him. You got him, you got him, you got him. <laughs> You're fighting a snook. I'm over here just dying. I almost died. That is a stud snook. That's a slot. Yeah! Ooh. Oh my gosh, dude. Beautiful. There was pandemonium on the boat. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I think I broke a toe. All right. Fish of the day. Nice. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a pretty fish. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, good shot. This is nice because you can see a fish yeah, shark. a shark comes up. He likes to be pampered. All right, this is gonna get a fish right here. Look at all of them chasing my pilchard. That pilchard must be just not having a good day. Oh, look at all the scratches on him. Oh my, he's like, kill me. Yeah, they're all very small. There's so many of them. Oh, oh. Yes, I got one. <laughs> they're very healthy looking mangrove snapper. Very pretty spot. All right, let's get a nice fat mangrove snapper. Ooh, bait delivery. What a service. $45.99. I might have a couple of pennies in my back pocket for you. Very generous, man. Oh, that'll get him fired up. All right. One pilchard. Oh, yeah. Live chum. Give him a little squeeze. Ooh. Oh, that one's a jumper. Oh, no. That bird is eyeballing my... S you already saw a snapper? Yeah, I saw a Okay. All right. All right. Sometimes those snapper like a chunk. You cut the bait in half. Yeah. Bite the head off. Yeah. I think that's the the dar sizzle special. <laughs> I think there she no she bites the tails off or something. All right, but there's a lot of little mangroves down there. Yeah. You got one? No. You got no. a tree? Yeah, it's a pretty tree. Ah, I'm out. <sighs> I'm out. Maybe they're over here. Don't these things are moving. Don't try this at home, kids. We are professional fishermen. Oh, Dan, what you get? Oh no. <laughs> Come on, show us what you got. <laughs> Listen, sometimes you win, 
sometimes you don't. This, this, they're in season, so that's a good thing. All right. You should get that mounted. No, you want Joyce. Yeah, Joyce, Joyce. Can you mount this for Dan? Mount this for me. All right, I'm gonna let him go because I'm a sportsman. Catch and release. Go. I'm gonna try a chunk. Maybe that's what they want. Just a chunk. Shit. Ow. Just what? Okay, there we go. Oh. Having some technical difficulties over here. Okay, there we go. I kept getting it in the tree. They're pecking at the chunk, but they're not small. They're all kind of small. Maybe the big ones are like out there. Yeah, I'm gonna try to throw this chunk over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. A little one just like pecked at it. What a nice little nursery though. It used to be so cool. I got a nibbler. Ah, bastard. <laughs> I was about to rip his face off. We got a screamer, boys. We got a screamer. Take it one more time. I dare you. I dare you. Ah, oh, shoot. Ding, 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 ding. Mangrove's gotta be 12 inches, right? Yeah, actually only 10. Back here. Yeah, there's a pilchard swimming around down there. Oh, that bird just stole my bait. Well, that's a catch of the day. And watch, he's gonna go right back for the shit too. Wow, that is a catch of the day. Oh, oh, ah, I got something. It's a, a fish. Oh, shh. Nice. It has it. <sighs> oh, yeah, but he's a keeper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just had a live bait out there and he eventually grabbed it. Oh, baby, you're going in the pan. He's a pig. Oh, he almost got my finger. That was too close for comfort. No, not another bird. Come on. Dan, look at this guy. That's a, that's a sweet one. You got him out in open water. Yep, I got him right out there on the live let's pilchard. See him, let's see him. Yeah, yeah, he, that's a good one. Bam, that's eating. That's Florida Keys mangrove snapper. Eating. Good eating right there. Yes, sir, buddy. Mm. Right, good deal. Nice. Chunky monkey. They're out in open water. Ooh, wee. Oh, this cooler doesn't want to open. There we go. Oh! I guess he got the last laugh. I feel really good about this spot. It it looks like something from a fairy tale. Oh, that one's that guy's getting chased over there. Oh! oh there's a big snapper. Dan, you on already? Uh, not yet. I just had a nice touch. Where is he? He was right, right off this edge right here. Okay. Oh, there's some nice snapper. Okay, 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 okay. He, he was he just went into there. I'm gonna chuck my guy over there. Oh, he's gonna get wrecked. Dan's on. Nothing big. Oh, I'm on. This is the spot. This is the spot. Whoa, thank you. Oh, what is this? He feels. Oh, he broke off. I saw him. I still have. I still have my hook. I just had a, such a nice mangrove snapper on there. That's what that was? The one I caught, yeah. He was sexy. You should just throw baits out without a hook in them. Here we go. Oh, oh, I had one on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah. Ooh, hot, 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 it burns. Uh, that's why you're only $50. <laughs> Dan's like, I just shoved a, I just shoved a steak through your brain. Why are you dead? What was that? Yeah, this is nice fishing right here. That snapper just, something just ripped my hook off. You've already revoked my fishing license. I'm gonna send this guy to the moon. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh, that is, that's legit. Who's that back there? Is that you, Heiko, back there? Oh. That might actually been me. Wait, no. Wait, I don't even have a bait. That must have been my bait getting stolen. He's coming back to the boat. He's got no hook in him, right? Yeah, he's got no hook in him. This little pilchard swam all the way back to the boat. That's your fish. <laughs> Dan. Let me have him back. Okay. He's, he's. Just throw him, just it, throw him. Oh, oh, he's gonna get hooked on the. Uh, yeah, okay, here, hold on, let me. Uh, I'm like, this guy's got a hook. I was, I thought he was free swimming with a hook in him. He was moving. <laughs> you got so excited. I was like, what the heck? I was going to net a pilchard with a hook oh. in him. 
I like this little finger hook. Pop, lock, and drop it. Oh, it's a it's a stone crab trap. Oh, how nice. Out here? Yeah, but it's floating Out for here. some reason. It's almost like they never put the concrete in it. Get him, Dan! Uh, what happened here? How in the world? That was a nice one. Dan's on. Oh, that's a decent snapper. That's a pretty nice one. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a slob. That's gonna be a dinner if I get him on board. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a huge. Ah. I like that boy. Trophy. Yeah, that's a good one. Dang, I thought I thought mine was big. Wow, look at you had to barely had him hooked it. Oh. He went right That's in the right. core. What a freaking great day of fishing with Dan and Carson. Caught all those beautiful snook. Caught some mangrove snapper and I have my mangrove snapper in this bucket here that I had laying on ice overnight. Now we're gonna go fillet it at my brand new fillet cleaning table which I just had a video out on how we built that in only one day. Shout out to Paul for building it for me. I don't have running water out here yet. And uh, yeah, so boom, shazam. Let me go grab the hose. Boom, I got my hose. Now where's my fish? <laughs> there it is. That is a solid solid frozen fish <laughs> like look there's ice stuck to it like, stuck hard on there all right we'll flame real quick run your knife along the back cut above the ribs down right behind the anus fin Go ahead and outline the other side also. Whoa, hey bud. Yikes. Attack of El Kite. See, Elliot always knows when the fish are around and then he will do anything to beg daddy for a piece of fish. Once you're done outlining the fish, you can just pretty much just run your knife down it along the, the bones and boom, a perfect piece of filet. We can see here the ribs. Elliot, come here. Elliot, come here. Here's a piece for El Kite. There you go. Go on, wait, here. Take it, bud. Yeah, yummy. You spit it out. And the final step is you take your knife and you run it along the skin and you get the skin off of the filet and we are left with an amazing clean piece of fish that any kitty would love and i got some paper towels i'm gonna lay it on boom in the paper towels we'll clean the other half Shazam! That was easy. Okay, and just like that, we are done cleaning our uh, mangrove snapper. We'll bring them to the kitchen, and it's cooking time. We are in the kitchen, and I got some butter. We'll put in the pan, which is already kind of hot. Ooh, look, it's starting to melt right away. And there is, I want to call it a rumor, but I don't think it's actually a rumor. I think this is a real thing. But sometimes when you catch mangrove snapper in the backcountry, they can taste a little muddy. Some people call it like dirt. I don't know how to describe it, but I think there was a video like four years ago, three or four years ago, where I mentioned the same exact thing. I ate some mangrove snapper that I caught in the mangroves and I thought it tasted a little muddy. And while we were out there, Carson was telling me that he thinks sometimes the mangrove snappers in the backcountry taste muddy. And his girlfriend, Alex, that you saw in the couple videos ago she actually likes the taste of the muddier mangrove snapper so I'm going to cook this guy because he was caught in the backcountry pretty far in the backcountry I'm gonna cook them very simple with just some butter and some salt okay 
I'm going to reduce the heat a bit because we don't want the butter to burn. And that's it. We'll just put the fillets right in the butter. And we'll put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. And you guys are always asking me what salt pepper shaker is, is this? It's called Cuisine Art. And just, just type in Cuisine Art Electric Salt and Pepper Shaker and this one should come up. And just do a little bit of salt, a little bit of butter and that's it. All right, they're cooked about halfway through. It's only been a few minutes, but uh, they're pretty thin fillets, so they cook fast. We'll give them a flip. Hey up! Flip, flip, flip. I will say they smell great. I'll give it just a touch more salt because I haven't salted this side. Not a lot. A little pepper. That should be done cooking in just, uh, I don't know, maybe like two minutes. And then I'll eat it right out of the pan. We'll see how it tastes. All right, we got a nice flaky piece of snapper on here. There's still a sizzling. If you take your fork and you poke it and it goes straight through the fish, you know that it's cooked fully through. Let's just grab ourselves a piece and here's a nice big piece. I was just about to eat this piece of fish and look who's at the window begging. I put him outside because I didn't want him to be a nuisance, but look at that. Elliot, what are you doing out there, buddy? He's just been sitting at the window meowing this whole time I've been cooking. I feel terrible. Wow. Look at that delicious, yummy piece of mangrove snapper. Will it taste muddy? Mm, I'd say there's like a 50-50% chance of it tasting like that, but uh, let's give it a whirl. Oh, sorry. Wow! Piece of really hot fish just touched me in the back of my throat. I done nearly had a panic attack. All right, hold on a second. That was, uh, that was a little hot. I couldn't concentrate on the flavor. I'm gonna try that again. Maybe I gotta blow on it longer this time. That's what she said. <sighs> I think I'm a comedian, but in reality. All right, here we go. This snapper does not taste muddy at all. Woo, it's actually really good, really fresh, just salt and a little bit of pepper that is all you need for a really good fresh mangrove snapper i mean just excellent flavors leave a comment below have you ever experienced a muddy tasting mangrove snapper that you caught maybe in a river or in the backcountry versus snapper that you catch out in the ocean i'm very curious because i have heard from many captains many fishermen just pretty much a lot of people that i talk to that there are is a distinct difference between certain mangrove snappers and i don't know what makes them taste like why some taste that way and why some taste a little fresher this one tastes very fresh Woo! Mm. i give you guys a big thanks for sticking around to the end of the video if you want to support the channel, check out SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. We have the live bait J hooks. I'll link those in the video description below. Those are awesome for the kind of fishing that we did in this video. We also have the circle hooks and just a bunch of fishing gear that uh, you can check out. Get yourself some. You'll be supporting my channel by doing it. And I will see you guys on the very next video. Cheers.